Hello, little screamers. How are you doing today, this week, this month? How are you? Welcome back to another episode of Evil Truths, and welcome back to my channel as well. If you don't know me, hello, I am Nat. And here on this channel, we talk about horror, and then we create looks from that horror we are talking about. But with this series, Evil Truths, we are taking evil symbols, diving in, seeing where they originated from, and have they always been evil or did they have a good upbringing and then they just turned to shit? Or do they have dual meanings? That is what we are going to find out. And with this episode, it is about what Italians are most afraid of. And that, my little pumpkins, is Il Macatino, also better known as the evil eye. But let's go ahead and dive into this. Here we go. So whenever I was scouring the internet and trying to find the top most evil symbols in Italy, I didn't come up with anything except for this little bugger. And to put it simply, the evil eye is a bad case of unluckiness. It's either caused by someone or something, either intentionally or unintentionally, all by simply casting a gaze with bad energy. Since many in the past ancestors believed that the eyes are the windows to the soul. And if you've been cursed with the evil eye, it said you can experience nausea, headaches, and even loss of strength. And if you just have a simple streak of bad luck like everybody does, it doesn't matter. You are casted a malachino. I think every time I say this, the pronunciation is going to get worse and it's just going to... Anyway, we're just going to say the evil eye for now on. I am sorry, Italians everywhere. But it turns out this belief is dated back all the way to the Greek and Roman era, since they believed in the power of negative energy. And the overall superstition of the evil eye itself can be traced back to Mesopotamia, 5,000 years ago in the Sumerian region. This baby's been around a long, long time. And here I have a quote from Pliny the Elder, who's observing African enchanters. And he states, end quote, power of fascination with the eyes and can even kill those on whom they fix their gaze. If that was true, I would have been long dead by now. I don't even think I would have made it till my 15th birthday. Lord knows other people would probably drop because my evil gaze that I have given some throughout my lifetime. However, back to the Greeks and Romans, they were warned not to brag a lot or else the gods would become jealous of the human's happiness and, well, destroy their life. You know, regular god shit. And so this is why it's said Italians avoid saying their children are beautiful or talk about how perfect or and great how their life is in order to prevent another person's jealousy or envy, which in turn would warrant an unwanted evil eye. No, thank you, sir. Kind of wish that belief was rooted in American culture. We all know you ain't perfect. Be humble, be like an Italian, be afraid. However, a popular way to prevent the evil eye for Italians is to use ambulance and protective gestures. For example, when someone is speaking with a lot of pride when they consider someone envious, able to bring bad luck, or when someone is wishing something bad, they use the powerful expression and, again, forgive me, facendo corna. This is when you simply create horns with your hands. Sorry if that's Spider-Man, but yes. <laughs> and a couple unclassy gestures that is definitely not something you should do in formal or elegant occasions, circumstances, is for men to touch their genitals or to touch anything that's made of iron. Just for future advice, just do the horns, keep your hands on your wine glass or on the table. And for amulets, there are a few, but the most popular is the cornetti. The cornetti looks like a hot chili pepper. It's red, but it is described as the power of horns as a phallic symbol. Power of the dick, if you will. They are red because in the past, to acquire the strongest effect for the amulet, it had to be made out of red coral. And these amulets are to be said to be everywhere and they are highly common. And do not fret, all my ladies out there. Not only is the dick powerful, but so is our hoo-ha. 
because another amulet is called the fig. And it's representing the female genitalia. It's popular in Sicily since the Roman ages and in the north of Italy and was also used by the Etruscans. So when in doubt, whip it out or splay it out. And also there's an amulet that is of the horns with your hand symbol. It is called the Mano Corinto. And not only can it repel, but it's also said to, it's very powerful because this shit can poke your eyes out. Not only are you repelling the evil eye, but if someone gets a bit too harmful, just take that amulet and stick it in their eye. So you have protection from the physical and the spiritual. Hell yeah. And then the most famous symbol of Sicily, Trinacria, Trinacira, Trinacira. There will be pictures. It simply symbolizes the triangle shape of the island itself. As well as people wear pendants for protection as a piece of jewelry made of stone, obsidian, coral, onyx, decorated with silver in order to absorb and fight off the bad energy caused by the evil eye. And it's also said the shinier, the better, because in that case, it'll catch the evil eye. But if you're not sure if you have this, the whole stink eye if I got you, you could go to a healer where they use oil and water to determine if you're cursed. If the oil and water mix, not a good day, not a good day. But if the oil stays on top of the water, you're one lucky bug. Name that movie. However, there are those that still use herbs for their healing properties to release themselves of the evil eye. Some people are known to use basil and rune, and some countries even burn olive leaves. And last but not least, for the religious followers, you are advised to pray, to send back the bad energy, or you can imagine a big mirror in front of you, repelling the evil eye and sending it back to whoever is sent, to whoever sent it to you. There we go. But it's also believed when the decorations of the necklace of your pendant that you're wearing falls off, then that piece is full of bad mojo and you need to replace your pendant ASIP. And it's tradition for the talisman to be handed down from elders and gifted to pregnant women and newborns. And that wraps it up. A little quick video on what scares Italians the most. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new today, something kind of cool. And if you've been to Italy and you've seen any of these amulets or these gestures, please in the comments below, let me know. And when you're out and about and you feel that evil old stink eye coming on, mm, just mm, give to him. You'll be safe, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. And remember, guys don't touch your junk and don't touch iron. I think the iron thing would be okay, but you're in their country, so just don't do it, you know? And also comment below if you know any other symbols that Italians fear that I couldn't find, because I would love to know. But you little screamers have a wonderful day, night, week, month. When you're having a bad day, and remember, all the power you hold down there. Our hoo and our dicks repels the evil eye. Bye-bye.